So, have you heard? A team from the University of Melbourne is entering the International Genetically Engineered Machine Competition, and they're developing an in vivo method for producing peptides in the shape of a star. Aha! You're speechless, aren't you? Well, here is how they managed it. Taking some ever-obliging E. coli, they inserted in plasmids, or DNA codes, that instruct the bacteria to produce two things. The first is a peptide that happens to include two copies of an amino acid called cysteine at different points along its length, some distance apart. The cysteines then automatically form a disulfide bond, forcing the peptide to bend and bind in the middle. This is where the second E. coli product, peptidase, comes in. Peptidase is an enzyme that cuts a certain sequence of amino acids, the same sequence that falls between the two cysteines in the aforementioned peptide. So when both the peptide and peptidase are produced together, the enzyme snips the loop in the chain, completing the formation of a star-shaped peptide. But why bother making a star peptide, I see you pondering? Well, young one, it is because star peptides are exceptionally useful for developing new pharmaceuticals. To use the fashionable vernacular, they are a platform technology, a harmless structural base to which more exciting molecules can be attached. For instance, each arm could be functionalized with a different enzyme, which collectively could work together like a circular production line to churn out useful molecules. More simply, each arm could be appended with a medicinal molecule to deliver drugs, or with immune-triggering peptides to act as a vaccine for cancers and other diseases. With these potential applications in mind, the team has designed a second version of the star, in which the arms are not just benign structural backbones, but peptides with antimicrobial properties. By causing the watertight membrane surrounding bacteria to fail, these arms kill such non-mammalian cells on contact, enhancing the infection-fighting potential of the peptide. So there you have it, a star-shaped platform technology for future scientists, iGEM teams, and indeed breakthroughs to stand on. Genius. Thank you.